our fearless leader crawling all over the damn stage here today. What'd you think about that, bud? Oh, man. Let me tell you what. How many, everybody, how, how many people really, really got what he was talking about? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, that was probably one of the most crucial lessons I've heard in over two decades on this stage. And I hope you get, take it home with you. It was unbelievable. Uh, he was right on, and we're going we're gonna to expound on it here in a little bit. Well, you know, without a doubt, what's prompted, prompted that is that the executive sales team, and you may or may not know this, is comprised of Charlie Bear, Jim Winkler, Andrew Weissman, Phil Guido, Dana Galpran, Sarah Rose Stack, Kevin. We're out there all over the place. And there's really been a dilution of our training. It's not been complete. And we really need to get back to it. And JR was up here pushing on that. Well, we need to take what he's pushing on and take it to another level. And what we're talking about is what we put together to cross not only this country, but all of the markets. Yeah, Dennis, I'm gonna tell you, we, you know, the executive sales team has talked a lot about what's missing. You know, we're actually celebrating about a new million dollar club earner, okay, every single month. But it's not enough. We, not, we don't have enough momentum. We need more success stories, more people making solid uh, six-figure annualized income at the grass, grassroots level so that we can continue to have a strong wave of million-dollar earners coming each month. One a month is not enough. We need more. We need to get those pumps primed. And that's one of the things we've done is we come together trying to figure out what's, the miss, what's missing out there. What's missing? And what we've decided was, what's missing is the how. We have beat the living hell out of what and why. But what JR talked about today was the how. The how. We are adults. We learn by doing. We learn through experience. We learn through participation. We learn through observation. We learn through modeling. And that's what he was trying to get at. Because what the problem is, a lot of us are not satisfied with where we're at right now with respect to the success in the business. But the real reason is we've got teams of chickens, not geese. And that's what this business building workshop's all well, about. Well, please understand, the whole bottom line is we have to create success stories. So when we call upon those who have already created success, you've got to be the one that's going back in there and help create that next generation of success. And there are so many people deserving, as you heard, we have diamonds in the rough that they just need that mold of the clay to get exactly where they have to go. And that's very important to us. So the Master Business Building Workshop, as Dennis said, we're going to do 50 all over the world this year. But the thing is, is it's focused on the how. It's focused on the how. And it, 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 it's about implementing and executing and providing your team, uh, your, their, your business partners, a model, something to observe. And the first thing we have to do is we're going to go through this workshop and identify what are the 20% of the activities that create the greatest return and give us 80% of the results. And then we're going to put you on a 90 to 180 day plan of action so you've got a sprint. So there's, there's a sense of urgency and it's basically getting you to chase that car. Get in motion. Put people in motion. What you set in motion carries in motion. The biggest thing that happens is they're imprinting and they're modeling somebody staying in one place. You've got to get in motion. There's no doubt about it. If you're going to succeed, you have to be disciplined. And as entrepreneurs, you have to know you're the one in charge of your success. You have to take responsibilities. And to do that, it's discipline. If you have the disciplines to do the proven systems, not what you think. We've been doing this. We're in our 27th year. We've been collecting commission checks since May of 1992. Folks, it works if you build it right. And the disciplines that we put out throughout our systems, throughout the basic fives, and if you're going to be a successful entrepreneur, it has to be put into place to build two 
successful organizations that have success stories that are earning residual income that reach 5,000 and 5,000 and above in two separate legs and you are set in a six-figure residual income. You have to know that, but it's the discipline that leads to consistency. It's the repetition through the consistency that leads to greatness, and you have to remember that. Okay. Now, the thing is this, it, we, we require, this whole, it's a, it's a journey. It's not, a, it's not an event, okay? In building those two organizations, each generate in excess of 5,000 a week. But the thing is, it requires fuel. It requires fuel and it requires motivation. Without a doubt, you can't hit a desired outcome or destination without a path to run on. And that's where your list of goals are really important. Those through a vision statement, I'm very high on taking the dream into a vision. I talk about it a lot in the book in regards to setting that so that the goals are defined so that you can get the intermediate. And what is an intermediate? It could be preparation and just taking that first step of that thousand mile journey. The first short term has to be from the systems, the getting started guide, the base 10, seven strong. When we're talking 90 to 180 days, that's four to six months. That's where we expect for you to deliver if you're gonna build according to the unfranchise. So again, intermediate, long term, the two to three year plan, we start moving into the long term area. I think it's very reasonable for people to become directors in five years. In 60 months, in less time than it takes to pay off a new car, you can change your life by becoming a director. And the other thing we're gonna do is once you've established your goals, you have your goals, we're gonna make sure you leave the workshop with goals and the ability to you know, add to them. But you gotta be able to quantify them and qualify them because in the end, it, has to, it all comes back to what? Money. Because money's an enabler for you to do what you wanna do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and quantify and qualify and show you the MPC factor, okay? And what that means is this. We're going to say, you know, we quantify a goal. And let's say the goal, you know, to the cost or the, the money quantification is going to be $1,500 a month. Well, we know to get to $1,500 a month, we got to cycle what? That five and five in a four-week four week cycle. So the whole idea is if each unfranchise owner were, uh, uh, represents 500 BV, and that's what we use in the model, okay, then we need three business partners in the left, three on the right, each generating 500 BV. But the thing is, is guess what? If you need to go to 3,000 a month, it's just double what that is. So it's a factor. It's just twice. So you go, then you know you need six on the left, six on the right. You need to get to 5,000 5, 5, a week. You need to have what? It's all a f factor of three on the left, three on the right, base 10, seven strong. Okay. All right. You got it. So let's start defining and writing an action plan. Now understand, this is a workshop. We're not going to be training. We're going to overview it and we're going to put you in motion. We're going to be the coaches coming around to each of you, correcting your course if you're off. But understand, to take your goals, you do need dates to accomplish them, but you also have to know how much time you spend each week. Without the time variable, it's very hard to hit a completion date. The way that we've set this up with action plans is that you can compress them based on time or expand them. So you have to be able to work with that. And of course, I always say, if you're gonna create an action plan, you have to see, keep the end in mind. You have expected outcome. Ladies and gentlemen, no one in this room should expect to fail. It's all about winning, and you have that capability. So see yourself there. But of course, of course, success has its setbacks. You heard Fat Joe, hey, failure is a big component of success, but that's an important part of what we do. Just so. keep in mind, we're gonna, we're, gonna do, we're gonna show everybody how, and we're gonna have people role play, we're gonna have people demonstrate. What we're here to so that people can observe, see people can participate. It's all about imprinting these activities that are necessary to achieve the what. Now, what we're doing is we're setting the foundation. In other words, you've got to lead so that you, you lead yourself so you can lead other people. So you've got to be able to do exactly what you want others to do. Now, as far as the foundation is concerned, there are, there are a few must. You must, you must achieve these. You must have these things to be successful in order to be able to imprint with your team. You've got to be a product of the product. You're going to have to be a product of the program. Okay, you're gonna to have to be able to leverage a GMTSS. 
You're going to have to know where to go in the back office and find a meeting in California, a meeting in New Hampshire. Don't be calling me up and saying, you got anything going on in uh, whatever, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hell, I don't know. i got to do the same thing you do. i got to go to the GMTS. So we're going to make you look this stuff up so that every single what and every single why you will have already done so that you can model for your team. Be able to develop, and we're going to have to develop tiers of leadership. You are not going to be able to turn over the leadership responsibility to the GMTSS or to somebody else. No, you are going to be a leader. You're going to lead by example, and that's all it takes. Why? Because all we want them to do is be a goose. And if you do the things that goose geese do, they will be geese. But if you don't do any of these things, they're going to be damn chickens. And they're going to be going all over the place. Okay? So, and they teach you to build from event to event, not just event to event in the GMTSS, but we're talking about one-on-ones to product previews in the home, health and wellness in the home, then to, other, to an HBP, and then to a two-on-one, one-on-one, a coring, and then into the events. But keep in mind, you're building from event to event on the smaller scale. I, I do want to comment here. Please don't use the word leadership so loosely. Remember, you're not a leader unless you have people following. So many of you come to me and say, this is my leader. And I say, tell me about your organization. I said, well, I'm working, I'm just started kind of thing. That's not a leader. That could be a go now on franchise owner. Don't confuse that, all right? It's very important. And also leadership should entail success, which should be some ongoing commissions. Now, let's talk about the core of the business that feeds the money machine that was developed for us called the Management Performance Compensation Plan. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't think this part is important, you're crazy. Listen, a product of the product, our number one product is the plan, but the plan will not work unless you feed the plan with what we call BV and high BV. So we want 10 repeat customers focusing on 30 to 40 BV each per month. Now it may take more than 10 customers, it might take 25 to get it, so we like to build maybe one customer a week, two customers a week, but you've got to keep doing that until you succeed. The other thing that's important, know your tools to the products that you are a product to. So many of you don't know all the great things that we offer and you've got to pay attention. We have many approaches and we teach them and we'll put you through them when it comes to retailing at the workshop. And I know trial size marketing is your baby. And I, I love trial size marketing. Let me tell you what, I did trial size marketing when I didn't know what it was, okay? It took me to go to this workshop to figure out what I was doing, what it was. I used to just hand to get a box of 80 Thermochrome 5000s back in the day, okay? When we could get 83 day trials. And all I did was staple my business card to, and I handed them out, 80 of them every month. Get another box, 80 another month, 80 another. And what happened was I ended up getting great customers who turned into three national supervising coordinators. Trial size marketing, okay? We have tools, we have products that lend themselves unbelievably. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you and go through how to trial size market, okay? Do a three-day, get hand out three-day trial sizes of the Isotonic Daily Essentials, okay? A pack of three, so you need three boxes. Don't worry about it. It's, it's advertising, promotion, it's business building. You're investing in your business. You put 30 out in a month, you get 10 back, okay, that buy once. One-third, come back and buy once. We know 50% of the people that buy the first time are going to be repeat. You get five repeat customers. Five repeat customers through trials. So we're going to walk you through exactly how to do it with not only this product, but then you can apply the same concept to other products. Right, and the fun thing is, is you'll do trial size marketing while you're at the workshop. You'll actually be doing it. We'll be testing you on it. Also, think about our internet marketing, matching products to people, people to products. Every one of you should have a list to help build your retail business. Ladies and gentlemen, you can anticipate the product that they may be interested in, and you simply go to your site, and you basically take the page, and you send the link 
the right link at the bottom of the page to that customer and I was thinking of you, take a look at the benefits of this product. You may be interested in going further into it. All right, that's a great way to use internet marketing. And then finally, the in-home events, which you spoke earlier to, I'm gonna tell you what, whether it's a detox, whether it's a wellness, whether it's a, a motives, whether whatever it is, a web center, whatever it is, you can do this. You can do them with Shop Financial because does anybody know anybody in debt? Gee, if you can imagine, I'd like to bring you over to show you how you can liquidate your debt. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, okay? And once we have a customer base, once we have a customer base, then what do we want to do? We want to, we want to get more BV. Well, it's, it's better, you can increase your BV to your customer base by practicing one-to-one -one marketing versus going out and getting new customers. It's much easier to sell a customer that's satisfied with one of your products, a new product, by capitalizing on the success or the experience or the results they've had with a product that they've been buying on a regular basis. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to build share of customer. We're going to show you how to implement a, a, a follow-up system with a retail customer, whether it be 137, 14, 21, or depending on the trainer, they may have another. Okay, but the key, and we're even going to show you who to, how to expand to get more customers uh, of your customers buying additional products by implementing coupon marketing to customers you already have. By simply giving them a code, you get it, send them a coupon, 10% off, 20% off, whatever you want it to be, if they buy another product, not the product you're selling, but on a, a, a new product. You with me? And you'll, we'll teach you how to study what they're buying and then which products to select to do that. On this also, we'll be telling you on the 13714 exactly what to say. Mark Ashley earlier talked about the reviews. Those are great testimonials to copy and paste, like on the seventh day or the third day, I was thinking about you. Use what we have. That's why we all want to keep posting reviews in what we do. So let's start talking about mastering all of this, or let's start, are you flip? No, you, you flipped you wrong. I flipped for you. Okay, come on. Oh, thanks for the You're help, up. Buck. I appreciate You're that. Up. All right, so what we're talking about, you know, he doesn't allow me to comment. He just clicks the next slide. Okay. So anyway, we're talking about prospecting and preparation. So what are we going to do? I think it's really important that this is a big part of communication skills. The one thing that so many of you are so weak on, you have such a hard time to be yourself and have a conversation that's able to ask qualifying questions that leads you right to where you want to go. And it's painless. It shouldn't be that. We're going to talk through that so you can work on that. Also, you got to have the answers on what we do and what you do. You know, so many of you sh cut those answers short before you get the engagement, where you get people following up and asking you more about that new business that you have. Also, we're going to talk more about the two-minute commercial, how you can bridge the relationship. It's really powerful. And, of course, you're going to talk more about yep. names and possibilities. And then building the names list. I mean, you've got to have a possibility list. You can't embark on prospecting, okay, and qualifying individuals if you, you, know, if you don't have a target, okay? And at the same time, you don't want to embark on it in a sense of weakness. Okay? A lot of times what people do is they come with a short list, a chicken list of about eight to ten people. These are the only two people I know that might be interested in do, joining me in this business. What the hell do they know? They don't even know, they don't know the business yet. How can they qualify or pre-qualify? But the thing is, is if they have six to eight names, guess what? They got a chicken list, a short list. And as soon as they get four no's, five no's, let me tell you what, they lose all their posture. That they lose their excitement, their enthusiasm. All of a sudden, it, that, 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 no, that, that negativity sets in. But let me tell you what, if they got 60 to 300 names, they got posture. Because if they get six, seven, eight, nine names, you gotta set them up for success. They get nine no's, so what? They still got 291 people to go. So mentally, they are strong. They are strong. And the thing is, is it keeps them in the game until we get the right. Because they, most all of us know it's the people you know, they're the worst people. Okay, so you will, get, you will have a names list of 300 names before you leave because we're going to show you how to get them before you even leave the workshop. 
All right, that brings me to mastering and executing the approach. What we're going to do is there's a many, many approaches. JR talked about the approaches today. We're not going to go through those. But the direct approach, the indirect approach, the referral or evaluation, then you have the conversational approach. What we're going to do is we're going to take that names list, we're going to prioritize, we're going to categorize, and then we're going to show you how to select the best approach for that given individual. Okay? But remember, these are things we're going to do with you, not tell you what to do or why you have to do them. We're not going to spend time. We're going to show you exactly what to do so you will have a team of geese and not chickens. Okay? We're going to take that list and we're going to do call workshops. It's like getting thrown in the pool. Guess what? You'll start flapping your arms, kicking your legs, and as soon as you feel that water displacement, like, ooh, I'm moving. It's not that bad. And that's exactly what the call workshop would do because all we're trying to do is book the appointment to, get, to talk to somebody. Okay? Some people you'll call, you don't get them, we'll text them. Some people we may text and prepare them for the call. You know, following the workshop, we'll do an unfranchised business presentation with the team going in and showing the plan. However, it's a great opportunity in your call workshop to bring someone to the event. So it follows the training. So it's really good. Uh, next, let's talk about the qualifying to recruiting part. Uh, I cannot tell you how important it is. JR hit heavy on it today. You've got to ask questions. You've got to ask probing questions that are going to move you in the direction to be able to talk about what they want. It really doesn't matter what we want. So that's a skill set. We're going to talk to it, and then you're going to start practicing with us. And we need you to do that. And I want you to know, we're going to coach you. Do not take it personally. We are going to put you within the lines so that you can make things happen with it, and it's very important. I also want you to know showing the plan is very important, whether it be the flip chart, the slides, on paper, you name it, Buck likes to plug and play. I mean, you know, it's, a, it's critical. You gotta show the plan. We gotta get you to show the plan on one-on-ones, two-on-ones to begin with. Don't forget your home business presentations. If you're condensed in time, then leverage your time. Invite three or four or five people over with some of your teammates or buddies within the area and fill up a room and do it together. That's an easy way to get started. And of course, mastering the close. Why you work so hard and you never close the deal. And first of all, a lot of you never close the deal is because you never know what you're closing for. Whether it's the damn appointment, whether it's a product sale, whether it's going to a local, you know, you've got to figure out where it is. We're going to teach you how to master picking a number of your interest level between one and five. You know, if it's a three, four, or five, I'm selling tickets. I'm setting people in motion. I'm getting them into the ABC pattern right away. If it's a one or two, I'm going to use more of our videos to keep them coming along. But they're never going to be closed out. Even if they say no, we're going to build the relationship further. So please. Please know that this is such a powerful segment. Okay. Then it gets into what we're going to talk about sponsoring. When you sponsor somebody, you have a responsibility. Okay. You take ownership of that person. All right. Now, simply put, you're just going to teach, manage, and support those individuals. Make sure that you establish an environment where they can be successful. And the biggest thing in when you sponsor, okay, it's about doing. You've got to do the business with them so they have something to model and you imprint what you want, okay? The problem is we are imprinting chickens, not geese. So we have to do these things with them because that's how they learn. They're not learning anything because we're not doing anything with them. They have nothing to model, okay? So basically it's this. All we're going to do is do the same things we just did. It's that simple. Do the same. We are product of the product, product of the program, okay? We're going to show the plan. Is everybody with me? And so, we, and we give those things for them to model. We just tell them what they need to do. We sell them on why they need to do it. And then we demonstrate. Demonstration for them is the missing link. Demonstrating what they need to do is the missing link is because that's where they learn what to do. And then once we've taught them, then we can delegate. We can delegate because now they can be an active participant and help take, on, take the load on, okay? 
One of the challenges that people do is delegate too soon before they're ready to delegate, and we've got to clean that up. And even for those of you that have been in for years, you've diluted the education of what we do because it might be boring for you. You've got to get back and address the things that our up-and-comers have to learn that you already do as instinct. Don't be lazy on what we do when we teach here, okay? Now, follow up. That's where the money is. Follow up, follow through. You know, the guy that missed the field goal and missed the getting to the Super Bowl, he's feeling bad about himself. But he really didn't follow through with the kick. You know, so bottom line is you could take the swing, but if you don't follow through, it's not going to go very far. And I'll tell you right now, you want to become the best follow-up person in your land, in your city. Nobody better than you. In the ABC pattern, it's all about duplication and death. If you remember the success formula, this is not easy. This is truly not easy. And I know some of the things that we teach, we want you to go berserk for 90 days. But I'll tell you what, life sometimes gets in the way. You might have to do one leg at a time. It's okay. There's no time limit on this. You put your own times on it. We've got to get you to understand. It might be A, 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 A before you get to a B. And it's still okay. But you still got all these A's lined up that are in play. And you don't want to mess that up. So again, compounding effect. What is it? What are we trying to do here? Consistency. I said it earlier. You've got to discipline yourself to do small things, make the right choices on a daily basis, and big things will happen. It may take 12 months, 18 months, 31 months, but we are the two to three year plan. And I'm going to tell you what, we are the shortcut, and stop trying to get a shortcut to the shortcut. It's just wrong, okay? Okay. And then what we're going to do is show people the importance of having an accountability system. What gets measured gets done, okay? And the thing is, is you have to have an accountability system because you're not going to have any compounding effect if everybody isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing because it all adds up. A lot of times, I just say this, folks, when you look in the mirror, if you're not where you want to be in this business, you, you haven't experienced the success, and then you look in the mirror and you say, you know, the reason I'm not making the money is because I'm not doing the work. Okay? And then you walk away and that's okay. It's not okay because somebody brought you into the business. You're part of a team. When you don't do what you're supposed to be doing, you're letting the team down. It's not just you. You're, you the biggest loss is what the team loses, not what you lose. So when you come into the business, yeah. you better be ready to perform because you you're letting the team down when you don't. So we're going to hold people accountable. Okay? But then we're going to give you the 90-day action plan. You're going to have that when you leave. And at the same time, we're going to really hit on the follow-up, the ABC pattern, and follow-up, and building depth. Because that, as Dennis said, that's where the money's at. That's where the residual income comes in. You, when you have a lot of people doing what they're supposed to be doing, okay? And you and you know and unfortunately, folks, we we're out there teaching the basic two, the basic three. We never get to follow up and the ABC pattern of building depth. We never do. We spend all the time on attitude, knowledge, goal setting, your goals, okay? And not where the money is made, which is in follow-up and ABC pattern of building depth. But so by doing that, you'll stay in control of your timing, your progress, your growth, your success, and won't leave anything to change. One of the things that I want to tell everybody here, with every city that we go to, when we start doing the follow-up, after we do the initial workshop and we do the initial UVP, we will be calling every attendee's senior partner, national and above, and our expectations is that you will go into the city where we were working with your people and take on your, your management responsibilities and get in there and build. You need to understand it doesn't matter where they are, they're all part of your organization. So when we call you, please respond. Don't ignore us because we're going to go to the level of looking at the policy. What does it mean if you don't fulfill your management responsibility? Well, now we have the ability to move that person to where they will get it. Okay, so just understand what's going on when we call you where and we're Like working. Dennis said, that, the good news is we're going to go prime your pump. The bad news is we're going to prime your pump and you're going to come in and you're going to put your hand on the damn handle. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have fun. Hey, listen, my final comment is it's the most amazing training that, that I've experienced in many years because 
it truly does help that person recognize that they have the potential and gets them over that fear of that first step in each of the different steps of our system. How it's about you? True. It's true. If you, hey, if you are in an area where we're going to do one, you need to attend. If you're not in an area where we're doing one and you have people in an area where we're doing one, get your people there. Okay? And for those people where it's not in an area you do, don't worry about it. We're coming. We're coming. Okay? So don't think we're not going to be doing them wherever you're at. Okay? Right. Um, that's, that's it. Dennis, where are we going to Well, be first and foremost, we've committed to do 50 of these, and we're going to do them in all the markets. Uh, well, our next ones are here in Minneapolis. Uh, then Atlanta, Georgia, Clearwater, Florida, Mount Laurel, New Jersey, uh, Rochester, Buffalo, New York, and then Phoenix, Arizona. Um, we have multiple cities online and we will, we will hit all of them. We're also going to be in the United Kingdom. Uh, when Jim is over there, he'll be there. And we'll um, be doing them in Taiwan, Hong Kong, oh, yes, Malaysia, we'll be in Taiwan, Singapore, Hong Kong. Australia. We're going to do them throughout Market America World. Actually, we'll be in Australia doing three cities also. So again, these are things that we are committed to. I hope, given the opportunity, you will commit the day with us. It'll be a long day, but it'll be a rewarding day. And we want to thank you very much for being right. a part of this team. Thank you.